Jazz 88.3 and the new jazz thing. Music there from Holly Hoffman. Low Life, the Alto Flute Project. Joining us this evening to uh, chat about that is the Alto Flutist, or Flautist, on the uh, new disc. Holly Hoffman. Uh, Holly, thanks for hanging out with us tonight on the new jazz thing. And it's Flutist. <laughs> it's Flutist. Okay, great. Even though uh, <laughs> sometimes it's spelled with F-L-A-U. Yeah. Well, Webster's Dictionary says you can use either or. And James Galway did the word study and said, in this country, it's flutist man. Excellent. He <laughs> said man, too. <laughs> um, so, um, Holly, again, thanks for being with us tonight here on the New Jazz Thing. Um, pretty bold to open your disc with a composition by uh, one of your uh, players on this, Anthony Wilson, and him taking kind of the first solo on that. But uh, he's a fantastic player uh, and uh, must have been great playing with him. Yeah, well, it's his tune. I thought he should have the first solo, plus he inspires me as he plays. Mm -hmm. So um, um, one of the things that I, uh, that I take from just listening to that, too, is um, the sound that he gets on, that, on the guitar is kind of a low resonant sound, and it seems to be something that maybe uh, fits really well with what you're doing on the alto flute project. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, what you needed to do um, with your playing uh, and just your frame of mind to switch from uh, the C flute to the alto flute uh, on a disc that entirely features that instrument. Well, it's a, it's a difficult instrument, uh, mostly because it's a finesse instrument. You can't just blow with wild abandon. You really have to finesse it. And so, to get ready for that recording, I didn't play C for three months. Mm which was an interesting thing because I had to do a lot of gigs on alto flute. Mm -hmm. But I had to live with it, I had to breathe with it, I had to write with it, and um, practice with it. So, so it would sound comfortable. Mm -hmm. but, so then, and then the, uh, the repertoire that you play on the new release, um, uh, was this specifically um, picked uh, because it uh, fit with the range of uh, the instrument? Absolutely. <clears throat> Everything. You know, it was interesting because we wanted to do, uh, these are all my best friends and my beloved husband on this album, and we all talked about it, and we thought what the alto uh, was for all of us is, is a tone instrument. We wanted to feature the, the sound of the instrument on this recording. So, um, so I guess I'll, I'll just say the question, why? Um, uh, I, I guess because maybe because it hasn't been done in this kind of a setting uh, very often. Have there been ever, any discs that were recorded that were all alto flute? Not that I could find. Mm -hmm. I did a pretty extensive search. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there are some, you know, there are some players that do, a, you know, do both, mm -hmm. but not exclusively alto, and, and not in the style in which this band plays. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so um, I, one of the things that uh, George Varga, as I, I quoted him, a warmly satisfying work of broad appeal, um, that kind of uh, hints to kind of something that maybe you were looking for with this disc, was to, to make a disc that people could, that maybe people who weren't into the flights of fancy that you that they may have heard on some of your previous work and on jazz works maybe in general can maybe hear. Tell, tell us a little about what you were thinking in that area. Well, I was sitting in the parking lot of Trader Joe's talking to Jeff <laughs> Hamilton on the phone, and he said, uh, why does everybody have to do blowing albums with, you know, 92 choruses and everything? Why can't somebody just do a, a really great swinging album of something you'd want to put on for dinner mm. or a long drive or you know just you know just background music mm. that's really pleasing good tone good time and I said I don't know but it sounds like what I want to do on alto really? because you know turn signal our previous release with Mike and I the, and Terrell Stafford mm -hmm. was a blowing album it was heavily you know charged and difficult and a lot of soloing and you know, different kind of thing. So this appealed to me because the alto has such a wonderful sound and it and people respond to it so much. When I get off the stage at a concert, uh, people come up and say, oh, I wish you had played more alto. We just love the sound of that instrument. So I 
I felt it was time. Mm. So, um, well, then let's hear a little bit more music. Um, and uh, what I had picked next was uh, your original composition on this uh, disc. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Lumiere de la Vie. Is that the Light of Life, okay. yes. Um, tell us about this, and was this something that you wrote uh, specifically for this disc? Or? Specifically for this disc. I wanted a nice original alto composition, and I started writing one day. I wasn't putting in time signatures or key signatures or anything. It ended up being in multi-time multi, multi -time signatures. Mm -hmm. But um, I started writing, and uh, this is what came out, and, and uh, Mike Wofford calls it a a piece of high romanticism with a touch of grease. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. You've always kind of been known for that little touch of grease, uh, getting the getting the blues. I'm taking that that means kind of getting the bluesy, uh, soulful it thing just, in there. It just inches its way in there. I don't know what to say. Excellent. We're uh, chatting with Holly Hoffman this evening. Her new disc is called Low Life, the Alto Flute Project. Uh, we're going to uh, ask her a little bit about uh, the rest of her bandmates on this disc in just a second. But let's hear from uh, her. Uh, this is her composition called Lumiere de la Vie. It's all about the new on the new jazz thing, Jazz 88.3. <laughs> Jazz 88.3 and the new jazz thing, music there from Holly Hoffman. Low Life, the Alto Flute Project is the name of the new release in her composition, Lumiere de la Vie. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight, uh, Holly. My pleasure, Vince. Fantastic uh, composition there. Um, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful piece. And um, before we uh, chat about your, uh, your players uh, with you on this disc, um, that seems to kind of highlight some of the the, uh, I don't want to say restrictions, but the range of the alto flute. It seems the, the C flute has, uh, as I was reading in the George Varga um, review, 
a wide range, uh, three octaves or plus, and then uh, the alto flute, a uh, much smaller range, and you have to fit uh, kind of the feeling that you want into a much smaller range. Uh, is, that a, is that a challenge uh, for you? Yeah, but it's a good exercise. It's about saying, uh, saying more with less, mm -hmm. uh, which is something I think most jazz artists strive for. Mm -hmm. uh, not just filling stuff up with notes. You know, mm -hmm. picking the right, the right notes. So um, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, Anthony Wilson, the guitarist, um, uh, and then you mentioned chatting with uh, John Clayton in the parking lot uh, about this. Um, uh, talk about the other players uh, with you on this disc. Well, one of the other friends of the station, uh, Jeff Hamilton, mm -hmm. who was down doing a concert in the fall. Right. Uh, you know. Uh, that it can't swing any harder than Jeff, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a marvelous percussionist. He brings he brings it to everything. John is an amazing writer, and two of his compositions are on this CD. Mm -hmm. John Clayton mm -hmm. and um, and of course Mike uh, in this regard didn't uh, didn't add one of his compositions to it, uh, but he provided that gorgeous pad that he always does for everybody to play over. Excellent. Well, um, so the this alto flute um, is something that, uh, as I was reading, you started uh, performing with uh, not that long ago, seven years ago. Um, uh, were you What were you thinking at the time when you started playing the alto flute? Was there uh, something that you were kind of looking for that you weren't able to find with your with the, the C flute that you grew up with and played all your life? Or? Well, I was playing in a band called Flutology with the great Frank West and my friend Ellie Ryerson mm -hmm. and uh, Mike and Peter Washington, uh, bassist, and Ben Riley. And we had we needed that timbre in the, the three flute front line. Mm -hmm. And I just wasn't very good at it, so I decided mm -hmm. to buy one and get better at it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, uh, I was reading uh, and also noticing that uh, there were a couple of reviews of the new disc on the website Flute Focus. So I'm kind of taking it that maybe um, this is a work that's also important to the flute playing community um, that can show that you know, there's a, a range of things that you can play on the flute. Um, any thoughts on that, That how this fits in with other, um, uh, other releases for the flute or, or what uh, the possibilities of, uh, of this instrument or the flute in general? Well, I think <clears throat> any time a release is well-reviewed and well-received, uh, it's good for the flute community, and I get a lot of emails and a lot of Facebook posts from flute players, and um, th the community needs good releases, and I, I hope this will benefit all the jazz flute players. Uh, I think the, uh, you know, because, as you said earlier, there aren't really any all-jazz uh, alto flute recordings. Mm -hmm. This will stand out among them, and... Uh, and help the flute community as a whole. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, then talking just uh, strictly the business of jazz, which is something that you know uh, a lot about, being involved in uh, lots of different parts of it, um, as you're looking to do something that maybe reaches out past the standard jazz listener um, into people who may be open to uh, listening to slightly improvisational music, uh, that sounds good, that they can listen to at dinner time. Have you had to do anything uh, different as far as the business of jazz is concerned? Uh, marketing, sales, distribution? Are you trying to do something different with this release than you've done with others? I know you. Uh, this is on Capri Records, so I would imagine they are. you're working with them on this. Right, and Capri's been our long uh, time label. They have a very good uh, PR firm that works these. And they're, they're touting it as a one-of, but they're really working it the way they work all their releases, mm -hmm. which they promote their artists very well. And uh, we're really fortunate to have Capri because they let us uh, play what we want. There are not a lot of suggestions. There are no restrictions. And that's the best thing about having a, a label that not all labels uh, 
let you do your own thing. Right, right. Well, um, you've had a CD release for this here in San Diego, and uh, San Diegans are very happy that they get the exclusive on that, and that's great. Um, uh, what are your plans for uh, for this disc and for being able to support it? And uh, are you going to be doing some touring, or what are you going to do? We're going to do a West Coast and an East Coast tour on this uh, with this band. That's about all we can really do uh, because, well, because it's a quintet, it's hard to tour. And the guys are very busy with their own bands. Right, right. The Clayton Brothers and Jeff Hamilton's trio and Anthony mm -hmm. has his own thing. So, um, we, but we've got uh, uh, two already started, adding on dates. Our agent is adding on those dates right now. So Excellent. Uh, so we'll do a little bit, but the main thing is these, I heard these players doing this music in my head for a very long time. And finally we did it. Excellent. Well, um, where can folks find out more about uh, this release and your music and uh, where you're going to be playing it and where they can pick it up? They can follow me on Facebook and they can go to hollyhoffman.com. And uh, let's spell that for folks. Is <laughs> it uh, maybe an interesting uh, uh -huh. thing for them? A holly with a Y mm -hmm. and Hoffman is one F and two N's. Excellent. <laughs> um, and uh, to make it really easy for you, we've got a link to uh, Holly's website on the blog post for tonight's uh, show. And that's at jazz88.org slash blog. We're going to close uh, things this evening with John Clayton's composition, Cedar Wood. Um, Holly, uh, you want to tell folks a little bit about this? Uh, John wrote it for this recording session for me. And he said it was a tip of the hat to Cedar Walton and, of course, our uh, both of our mentors, uh, Ray Brown. Excellent. Well, Holly, um, congratulations on the new disc and uh, best of luck with it. And... Uh, we hope to be playing a lot of it and hear more of your music in the future. Thanks, Vince. We love the new jazz thing. <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, Holly Hoffman from the Low Life, the Alto Flu Project, and this is Cedar Wood on the new jazz thing, Jazz 88.3. <laughs>